Let's now tell you what else made news around the world. Time for Gravitas Global Headlines. Germany says it will not block Poland from sending its two Leopard tanks to Ukraine. Big news for Kiev as it calls for more heavy weaponry to fight Russian offensive. Apple Inc. aims to increase production in India. Trade Minister Piyush Goyal says the Silicon Valley giant wants India to account for 25% of total production. A big jump from the current 5-7% to numbers. Anti-deforestation raids underway in the Amazon rainforests in Brazil. Brazilian President Lula da Silva vowed to end surging destruction inherited from his predecessor Jair Bolsonaro. Germany's antitrust watchdog launches an investigation into PayPal to examine if the US online payment giant was using its dominance to restrict competition. Streaming giant Spotify next in line to lay off employees. CEO announces the company will cut 6% of its workforce. That's some 600 workers. Peruvian police fired tear gas to disperse crowds of demonstrators rallying for the release of over 200 people detained at a university campus. Demonstrators raised slogans calling the police murderers. The police had arrested 205 people on the campus. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida says his country is currently facing the severest security environment in the region since the end of World War II. He pledged to bolster military capacity under a newly adopted security strategy over the next five years and tackle rapidly declining births so the country can sustain national strength. Kishida's government in December adopted key security and defense reforms, including a counter-strike capability. But according to the government, the current deployment of missile interceptors is insufficient to defend it from rapid weapons advancement in China and North Korea. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has dropped top minister Arya Derry from his cabinet. This after a Supreme Court ruling against Derry's appointment, which has shaken the nascent cabinet. Derry was appointed Health and Interior Minister last month as part of a coalition deal following Israel's November 1st elections. Novak Djokovic booked his spot in the quarterfinals of the Australian Open following a 6-2, 6-1, 6-2 win over Alex de Menor. The record nine-time champion will next play world number six Andrei Rublev for a place in the final four. Meanwhile, in the women's draw, world number four Caroline Garcia became the latest top seed to suffer an early exit at Melbourne Park, as the WTA finals champion lost her fourth round match against Poland's Magda Lynette, 6-7, 4-6. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.